Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. A person who is religiously enlightened appears to me to be one who has, to the best of his ability, liberated himself from the fetters of his selfish desires and is preoccupied with thoughts, feelings, and aspirations to which he clings because of their superpersonal value. Don't listen to the person who has the answers, listen to the person who has the questions. As far as I'm concerned, I prefer silent vice to ostentatious virtue. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. A calm and modest life brings more happiness than the pursuit of success combined with constant restlessness. A person starts to live when he can live outside himself. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. A new type of thinking is essential if mankind is to survive and move toward higher levels. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand everything better. All of one's contemporaries and aging friends are living in a delicate balance, and one feels that one's own consciousness is no longer as brightly lit as it once was. But then, twilight with its more subdued colors has its charms as well. Only a life lived for others is life worthwhile. There are two ways to live, you can live as if nothing is a miracle, you can live as if everything is a miracle. Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or objects.